Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying with Jim Mishura. Today I'm going to tie a Hemingway rubber leg gold ribbed hair's ear. The hook that I have in the vise is a 3 extra long size 14. I have a 3 millimeter bead on there. But before I start I'm going to add some uh, weight to this. And I'm doing that for a couple reasons. One, for having the extra weight, and two, to help build up a little bit of bulk on that, uh, on that thorax area. I'm going to use 20 thousandths lead-free wire. I'm going to start it about in the middle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 wraps. That's going to sink like a rock. And I'm going to take my nail clippers and trim off the excess. Doesn't hurt the nail clippers at all. The thread I'm going to use, this is Hemingway's 8 Ot, and this is a dark brown. And the rubber legs that I'm going to put on there are the dark brown ones. And I'm starting the back of the lead wraps and pushing the lead wraps into the countersunk, countersink on the bead. And we're going to bring that thread back. I pressed this barb down but we're going to bring that thread back to where the barb is that crush down barb is. Then we'll go ahead and remove that. Now for the tail I'm going to use mallard flank. Barred mallard flank. I'm going to take 10 or 12 of these barbels off of here. I want that tail to be about half to three quarters the length of the of the hook shank because this is so big. And I can run that up. I'm going to quickly run it up. Come up to the bead and I'm going to fold this back and that'll add help give me a little bit more bulk. And it also helps to cover up some of the spaces in the lead wraps. Put a wrap underneath that tail there. Now we're going to put the rib on. I have a number 16 gold and silver tinsel and I want this to be a gold ribbed hare's ear so I'm going to tie it in so I see the silver putting the gold side to the shank. Shorten my thread here a little bit. There we go. And now I'm going to turn this over so I have more space to work with my dubbing. First thing I'm going to do is wax the thread. This is 100% beeswax and a chapstick tube. And then I'm going to take my hair's ear, and this is a darker hair's ear. And we're going to dub this on. And we're not going to be really critical as to how thick this is. We don't, obviously, you don't want to try to put a glob like that on a one spot. But one thing with hair's ear, and this finely chopped hair's ear that I'm using also, one thing about hair's ear, as you're catching fish, little pieces of this dubbing is going to come off, even with the rib on it. I'm going to go ahead and use up the rest of this. So having more on there 
a little bit more on there is not a big big deal we're gonna go ahead and wrap this Make sure I get it good. Yeah, wrap up that all. And I'm about two thirds of the way up. So I'm going to put it just a little bit further. Put another small pinch on there. get a nice taper on there and yeah, now I'm going to take my rib and I'm going to wrap this and we got that nice gold side showing and yeah, we're going to secure that Give it a couple of wraps, and then you can fold it back and put a couple of wraps on top of it. Go ahead and trim that off. And for the legs, here is what I'm using. These are Hemingway Mayfly Nymph rubber legs. There they are in the package. And these are a size medium. And this is what they look like. And we're going to tie that tab in. So you're going to hold that tab, and I want that wing pad to be right to the bead. Give it some nice tight turns there. If you find you're having trouble with it rolling, just hold it a little bit towards you. Trim off that little piece of... bring it back and I'm going to dub the rest of the thorax now this I want this to be a little fatter itself so once again I'm not going to skimp on the dubbing making a longer noodle than I need and this way I can go back and forth on it turn that back over and so I'm going to put some more on there There we go, and this one I'm going to keep towards the back more. I'm going to fold those legs, and I'm going to get a wrap between the first pair and second pair. This is a dark thread. Put two wraps on there. Let me back that off and go to the second and third legs first two wraps bring it to the next set give that two wraps three wraps and we'll bring that up to the head and we'll tie that off take the whip finish Put a little bit of head cement on there. Put that on the bottom. I don't believe the rubber legs will be affected by the head cement. 
but even still put it on the bottom. Now I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to put a few dots on this. Put a couple of them on the bottom. Looks like we could use a couple more on the top here. Tease that out there just a little bit. There we go, get a nicer thorax profile there. And here we have a Hemingway rubber leg gold ribbed hair's ear. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any of the flies I make. Please go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it on the on there, send me a message through Etsy and we'll get something worked out. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.